The NCAA tournament is underway and your bracket may already be busted. There's already been a major upset. 13 seeded Furman has pulled off a shocking upset over four seeded University of Virginia. UVA blew a late lead, falling 68 to 67. This is, of course, really what March Madness is all about. So joining us to break down the action so far, CBS sports writer Kyle Boone is in the house. Hey, Kyle. UVA going hey. down to Furman. I think very few brackets predicted this. Your reaction? Yeah, my daughter predicted this. Who really? would have guessed? All three, all three years old, picked <laughs> Furman over Virginia. Uh, Virginia has been kind of a shaky team in the NCAA tournament the last few years. In three of their last four appearances in the NCAA tournament, they've lost to a 13 seed or worse. The other fourth, they won the national championship. So who knows what you're going to get from this Virginia Cavaliers team? But a huge upset in the South region, the Furman Paladins taking down number four seed Virginia Furman, just the 32nd team to defeat a number four seed in the first round since the tournament expansion in 1985. Virginia, of course, in this game led for 35 minutes of game time. There's only 40, 40 minutes in this game. So Furman had to play from behind. They were trailing late, able to take the lead and a huge upset to open the NCAA tournament. All right, Kyle, let's talk about Maryland. This one is for our executive producer, Eric Berlin. Um, so Maryland was able to take down West Virginia. What did you make of the Terrapins' performance today? I saw it a, a lot on Twitter with the hashtag, fear the turtle. <laughs> fear the turtle, that's right. Yeah, it looked like uh, um, West Virginia was going to pull this win off. Maryland was trailing for most of this game, but... Maryland came alive in the second half. Maryland this season has really struggled in games that are not played inside College Park, inside their home arena, but able to pull it off today, had a huge second half scoring-wise. West Virginia has been really good, really sound defensively all season, led by, I think, a future Hall of Fame coach in Bob Huggins, but the Terps able to escape. They're going to the second round of the NCAA tournament. All right, this is going to be a question I'm going to ask every guest as long as we are in the tournament, Iowa versus Auburn. What's your projection? Mm. You know, I like Iowa in this game. Yeah, if you it do. wasn't, <laughs> if it wasn't, however, if Auburn didn't have basically home court advantage, this yeah. game is actually being played in Birmingham. So I actually lean Auburn in this spot. <gasps> Iowa, it's basically a home game for them. I know, oh. I know. Uh, but this Auburn team is really good. I think they'll have a home court advantage behind them. Um, so I like Auburn in this spot. I think this will be a really close game. I was really talented. They've had some great games this season where they've completely dominated on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, one of the most, I think, fun, exciting matchups of the first round. All right. Very quickly, before we let you go, the women's tournament starts this weekend. What should we expect? Should expect another South Carolina win. Um, South Carolina enters the NCAA tournament with zero losses on its resume. Mm. Don Staley, Hall of Fame mm -hmm. coach, going into the NCAA tournament as the heavy favorite to not only win, but to repeat as NCAA champions. No one has beat the Gamecocks this season. I don't think anyone will beat the Gamecocks the rest of the season. They are the clear favorite. Obviously, on the women's side, you have to look out for UConn. Um, Iowa will be a factor. Texas has a really good team. But the Gamecocks, once again, Don Staley, have a squad that are entering the NCAA tournament as the heavy favorite to win again. All right, Kyle Boone, thanks for also getting Iowa into uh, the women's <laughs> final brackets. <laughs> Appreciate that. You got it. Thank you.